Welcome to Coverings 2022. Who got in today? Who's going today? Okay. Okay. Where'd you guys come from? India. India. Wow. That's a long flight. All right. Uh, who flew in yesterday? Anybody? Flew in yesterday? Where did you come from? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Very cool. I'm, I'm Jamie for the Crossville Inc. Um, I normally work behind a computer, so bear with me. Um, so I work with Crossville Inc. and digital marketing. With me today I have Kajar. She comes from Italy. This is Michael from Madicad uh, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So welcome everybody. So glad you guys can come out today. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions. So no cheating. Do not pull out your cell phones. I'm going to ask you a few questions. If you think you know the answer, just go ahead and shout it out, okay? Are you guys ready? All right. How much time, <clears throat> how much screen time do you think the average American gets non-work related every day? How much screen time? Four. Wait too much. Someone said four? Yeah. Six hours? Okay, good guess. Anybody else? Four hours, all right. One more, one more guess. Eight hours. Eight hours. Non-work, non-work. Non-work non -work related. The answer is seven hours. Oh. Ah, seven hours, non-work related. How much time do you think that's only on a cell phone? Out of that seven hours, how much is how much of that is on a cell phone? Five? Five, okay, it's, it's three. So about half the amount of screen time uh, people are getting is on a cell phone. And just food for thought, uh, there is 2.87 million apps available for uh, for download on Google Play right now. 2.87 million, that's a huge number. Uh, how much money, this is the last question, how much money do you think was generated in online sales last year, just in the US? So that's a hard question, but go ahead and shout out some answers. How much money do you, online sales only, e-commerce sales, Twenty-five million. Twenty-five million. Billion. Billion. Good. Good guess. Nobody else. Two hundred and fifty-seven billion dollars in e-commerce sales alone. That's just in the U.S. Um, so as you can see, uh, that's huge. And having a strong digital presence uh, in today's market is absolutely crucial. So we're going to go over some of our digital assets and some of our digital tools that Maticad has developed for Crossville Inc. Michael's gonna show this to you right now. Cool, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, so the question we wanna answer is this. What are the latest innovations in digital visualization technology? Um, but before we, be, before we begin, um, it's important to think about how the world has changed with respect to digital tools. Um, just like Jamie said, there's a shift towards uh, digital tools. Um, and in the last couple of years, the shift has only gotten faster. So the question becomes, um, how has our industry responded to this shift in digital uh, technology? Um, and we know that when you're talking about tile, it's really important to touch and to see a physical product. Um, and that has led us to be hesitant uh, sometimes in the industry to adopt certain digital tools. But if you're talking about renovating or remodeling a space, uh, these tools can provide enormous benefits to, to homeowners. And this is where I want to jump into the digital experience offered by Crossville because I think it is a great example of how to implement these uh, solutions to connect homeowners and professionals um, and to really enhance the digital consumer experience. Um, so let's imagine we have a homeowner that wants to redo their kitchen or their bath. What do they do? Usually they hop online, they start with a Google search, they look for room scenes um, of products and of uh, styles and to get inspiration or ideas for their own project. Um, and that is where our first innovation comes into play. Um, it is uh, an online room visualizer. So this is the one on Crossbill's website. Um, it is a great tool because what does it let you do? It lets you swap out the walls, the floors, and the countertops um, and put in different products and start playing around with ideas, with products to, to um, get inspiration. A lot of times uh, these tools often include a feature to uh, take a picture on your smartphone, upload your own photo, and put in the products of a manufacturer and see them in your own space. Right? Uh, the latest technology uses artificial intelligence, so it's really easy for a consumer because uh, everything's automatic. 
Um, these, uh, this room visualizer is a uh, technology that came onto the market a few years ago and it's uh, widespread now across the industry being used really well. Um, but what comes next? So um, once you get some ideas, you get some inspiration, um, if you are a homeowner that's a little bit more DIY oriented or if you are, uh, or if the homeowner is working with a professional, they can use something like an online room configurator. Um, and this is Crustbill's tile planner. So again, this is uh, available on the web. I mean, it lets you build a custom 3D space, a 3D model, almost like a mini CAD tool um, to visualize a space uh, before you make a final decision on product or color or layout, or you start an expensive installation. Um, and then you have to go tearing down things and cost money. So it's better to see beforehand. So how does it work? Um, we'll start with a blank room. We put in the measurements of our room. Uh, we can see it in 3D. We lay our tile on our walls and our floor. Uh, we put in our furniture. And just like that, we have a preview online um, in about five minutes of what a finished space is gonna look like, right? So it's an easy online way to visualize a custom 3D space. Um, and we can see it in 2D as well, of course, for layout and that sort of thing. Is this absurd? Sure, yeah. Or is this actually on your Yes, it is, but we're gonna take questions at the very end. Yeah, no, you're fine. Um, yes, yeah, so this is Crustwell's Tile Planner. Um, final thing I wanted to, to talk about really quickly was another tool on Crossbill's website. Um, and this is on the single product level. So um, we're on a product page here. Uh, of course, we have a 2D image of a product with Zoom. This is, of course, absolutely necessary for anyone selling product online. Now we need images. Um, but what does Crossbill do? They integrate our uh, 3D product visualizer. Um, and it takes that 2D image and it creates a 3D digital recreation of the product. Um, so we can see it in 3D. And um, a, a customer can rotate, zoom in, see surface reflection, and interact with the product in 3D. So it's uh, an engaging way for a customer to see a product online that goes above and beyond that 2D image. Um, so all of these tools are uh, innovations that are currently available. All of them are on Crossbill's website. Uh, currently, they're tools that Crossbill makes available uh, to you, to all their customers, to really enhance that digital experience. Um, and now I will pass it over to Jamie to talk a little bit more about marketing. Okay, so um, thank you. Um, so marketers are integrating these types of tools in some predictable, but some very uh, unusual ways, uh, non-traditional ways, I could say. So I had a friend buy a vehicle last year, and before he ever entered a car showroom or anything like that, he knew the bank, the model, the color, he knew what engine size, the fuel economy, he knew, he even knew what dealerships had that car available, he had even calculated his what his monthly payment would be. So I say all that to say this, customers today are doing a tremendous amount of legwork on their own. Uh, people today are, are reading more reviews. Uh, they're more dependent on um, product ratings. There's YouTube channels dedicated to, to um, just un unboxing products. So what does that tell us as marketers? That people are really interested in the educational part and they need to know if that product works, is that, gonna, is that product gonna work for them and their lifestyle? Uh, so, I think uh, the is going to talk a little bit more about uh, how, did, how we're going to integrate that into the sales floor. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, so, okay, now the final question that we'd like to answer is this. How do digital tools support in-person selling experiences? And this is really the most interesting question for us as it's what we ultimately need to understand in order to make the right use out of technology. Uh, let's say that digital schools, as we envision them, play a supporting role to in-person experiences and to the whole sales process, really. What I mean to say is, is that these tools are, in our industry at least, uh, they cannot, should not, and will not replace in-person experiences, sales associates, and even the need for homeowners to touch, feel, and see physical products. What these tools can offer customers, however, is a new way of accessing products and a new way of beginning and supporting their whole remodel project on their own from the comfort of their own home. Um, I think this is the secret when it comes to uh, thinking about how we can implement technology successfully in our business. 
it's really, really important that these tools are a medium to reach a goal and not the goal in and of themselves. We need to leverage digital technology and pair it with both the physical product and the physical interaction in order to build a new consumer experience, both digital and physical, and in the end drive its sources. Uh, realizing this, according to us, is what will allow market leaders to elevate their customer service, their professionalism, uh, and their human interaction with their customers using technology and avoid falling into the very dangerous trap of technology becoming anonymous and automated, which is what we definitely do not want. Uh, now, this is how we think that these tools can uh, help us in our industry, can support our industry, and this is exactly what Crossville is doing very well on their website, in their digital offering. Um, now, I think Michael is going to talk to us a little bit about the future developments that we envision in technology. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. So, uh, the final question, this is the final question, is what's next, right? Where are we going from here? So, we are going to continue to develop tools um, that assist homeowners and professionals in the visualization of products and of rooms. Um, and uh, we, we envision these tools getting faster, more efficient, and becoming easier to use because that is really important that for a homeowner or a professional, it's something that's quick and easy, right? So some of the um, technology we have available today that, um, we, that I didn't mention yet are things like professional software where you can build a custom 3D project, um, and this is where you can generate your photorealistic rendering. So these are really the highest quality visuals that are available um, today. It's almost like seeing a photograph of a finished project, right? So you can use these um, in a design to really show your customer what a room is gonna look like. Um, so you can even see how this can be implemented in real life, right? Step one is your rendering. This is a computer generated image. Step two is the installation of the actual space. And step three is uh, the finished bathroom. Um, in this case, it's actually my sister-in-law's bathroom at her house. I took the, the photo myself. Um, so you can see how that works. Um, same thing here. Uh, we can generate 360 panoramic images. So this allows you to move around the scene, see the entire room in 360, um, which is a great tool. And then, of course, the latest technology is virtual reality, an immersive room scene. So what, what is this? Uh, you put on a headset and you're actually inserted into the 3D space and you see it around you. Um, so this is you know, definitely um, latest cutting edge. It's actually really cool to put on the headset and to see. So, um, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's all I wanted to say. I think we're, I'll just close by saying I think we're at a really exciting time. There's a lot of exciting things to come um, and, and things that will really help you in your business. So I'll let Jamie finish up. All right, well, in closing, you, you know, we've talked about some of the, the staggering statistics of why it's important to have a strong digital presence. Uh, we saw some of the tools that we're already currently utilizing and the ones that are probably going to be in our future. Um, but we also want to remind everyone that this is not a replacement for a human connection. This is in addition to something that we're already doing. Um, but it's just a, a way to streamline the process um, and help the people who are already going to be doing that tremendous amount of legwork on their own, just a tool to utilize so they can pick out the right product for them. Uh, at this time, we're going to open up for any questions. Yes? Yeah, that's... Oh, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Um, that's a great question. So, um, and it depends on what kind of technology you're utilizing. So, on Crossbow's website, for example, we already have all of the tile um, loaded into the software um, for all of our tools. So, something like that 3D image that you saw—that's something that we processed beforehand, um, starting from a JPEG from an overhead standard tile image, um, and then we have some internal processes to, to recreate some other um, aspects of it, metadata. Um, for something like uh, to generate one of these room scenes, for example, um, this is something you can build in our software using uh, 3D files that are already available in our library. So, um, you know, furnishing items, uh, if you're familiar with CAD tools, you can drag them and drop them in. Um, and for a tile, yeah, we start always with a JPEG image. So, um, so yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, so it, again, it depends on the tool you're using. Um, 
for something like our professional software with these renderings, yeah, you can upload your own. So something like this, you can upload your own tile and, and generate those renderings, yes. Are there any other questions? Stop by and see us in person. We thank you for coming out today and enjoy Coverings 2022.